Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has confirmed that many of the Ukrainian citizens were injured on April 29, 2024 being Tuesday in Ukraine after missiles fired by Russia hit the students' palace of Odessa Law Academy. Local media had reported that over four persons were killed, 20 at others seriously injured including a children and a pregnant woman. It was there that after a series of explosions, a fire broke out in the palace of the students of the Odessa Law Academy also known as the Harry Potter Castle. Videos posted online showed the building on fire after it may have suffered the missile attack. I have just received reports on the situation in Odessa following a Russian missile strike and in Kharkiv following a Russian guided area bomb strike. Unfortunately, a number of people have been killed in Odessa. My condolences to their close ones. Many people have been injured and they are all receiving assistance. Russia's regular missile attacks, as well as the occupiers' efforts to destroy as many Ukrainian positions as possible, can all be stopped. And Russia's offensive plans can be thwarted. For this, Ukrainian strength must be backed up by sufficient support from partners, patriots, that need to be in Ukraine now. The 155mm caliber that must sound as confident as possible on the front lines, and weapons with sufficient range to destroy Russian logistics. All partner intelligence services are informed about current threats and developments. We must make every effort to achieve our goals, because these goals are shared by everyone in the world who despises terrorists, President Zelensky said through his ex-social media account. Earlier on Tuesday, according to Ukraine local time, the Secretary General of North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, Jens Stoltenberg was in Kyiv where he had a meeting and open press conference with the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. According to President Zelensky, Russia is trying to take advantage of the Ukrainian low-level capabilities in the battlefield. He said and in quotes, Today, NATO Secretary General and I discussed in detail the situation on the battlefield in Ukraine, our capabilities, and the capabilities of our partners to support our soldiers. The Russian army is now trying to take advantage of the situation while we are waiting for deliveries from our partners, and first of all, from the United States. Therefore, rapid delivery literally means frontline stabilization, 155mm artillery, long-range weapons, and a defense systems, first and foremost patriots. This is what our partners forces, and this is what should be working now in Ukraine to destroy Russia's terrorist ambitions. The Russian army is preparing for further offensive actions. Together, we must work these plans. Our partners have all the necessary tools for this. Jens Stoltenberg in his ex-social media page said that the situation in Ukraine is difficult and more weapons are on the way to support the country. Important to visit Kyiv again and meet with President Zelensky. This situation is difficult but it is not too late for Ukraine to prevail and more support is on the way. NATO is also stepping up for the long haul, putting Ukraine on an irreversible path to the alliance, Jens Stoltenberg stated in quotes. Osasuwa Kang Nebel, Green Game, Youth the News in a more digital way.